Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot, Elliot Wave Principle. I'm your host Shaheen. Um, we are going to continue our analysis for gold and silver. We'll look where the prices are expected to go. Uh, as far as long term for an long term analysis is concerned or forecast is concerned, uh, you guys are well aware of it, my analysis. I am bearish on gold and I'm expecting that we are going to continue this larger, complete this larger pattern which is A, B, and C, which is three wave structure, three wave structure, and a five wave structure. So within the expanded flat, as this is the example of expanded flat, because wave B has gone way beyond the start of point A, v, wave C tends to be sharper, and it happened in a very small amount of time, and that's, I, that's what my research is indicating, and that we are going to see in gold and silver. So, I'm bearish on gold and silver. Let's have a look on daily chart so we can actually explain. Right now, we have already completed one part of the wave and then we are going through correction, then wave three, four, and five. So let's have a look at a 15 minute chart or an hourly chart to see what exactly is happening. Uh, on, I think a day before yesterday, I made a forecast that we're expecting a, a more side wave behavior that side wave behavior has already started at this point and then the reversal has started as well so i believe that next couple of days are going to be bearish in in gold and silver and i believe that there is expected to be a double bottom being created with the previous bottom that will actually make the construction this possible and i think that this is going to go on during the whole christmas season uh, and it will actually push into the new year as well so quite a bit of side wave price action expected and, and then we'll have a surprising move. As far as previous labeling is concerned, we can simply refer to the previous labeling. It looks pretty off, amazing. We have stronger wave one right over here and wave two and then wave three can easily be considered a separate five wave structure. You can consider it wave one and two actually. Three and four can be counted easily and wave five can be easily counted off three. And then we have a pullback as wave four and then we have wave five. So it's pretty neat count as far as uh, uh, wave count is concerned. And then we have seen the, the prices drop as well. I, I think yesterday I made a um, forecast that we are expected to see gold uh, fall down. And I made a forecast that we are expected to see the side wave behavior. So we are doing it pretty great. I believe that this completes this five wave structure from the top to bottom completes uh, wave one of a larger degree. So this one, the round wave. This one I think is completed already. So, and then we are right now going through wave two. This one, okay. So, we can pull it over here and we can bring it over here, uh, right here, okay. So, for now, we can vanish the waves. I just made it so you can actually uh, see the, the path. Let me do that. Let's have a look how prices are expected to go in silver and then we'll discuss silver as well. So as far as the larger uh, structure is concerned, I'll show you guys the larger structure, what I'm expecting in larger structure. So I am expecting the larger move from the top over here as wave A right over here, which is a five wave structure and this is expect A, B and C. So an expanded flat as wave B and then we are expecting wave C as an ending diagonal and wave C is a, a diverging ending diagonal. That's the reason we have seen a lot of zigzags and deeper correction and zigzag. So I believe we have completed wave one right over here, the blue one and two and then three and then four. We have already completed part of wave five and the correction is also complete. So I believe the larger structure that we are seeing is a wave A, wave B and wave C, um, which is uh, a clear going to be a five wave structure in wave C. So we are going to see the price drop all the way to around $10 in uh, in silver and in gold, the price target that I'm aiming for is right over here at 1270-ish area. So this, I believe, that is a very important price target for gold, 1270-ish area. Let's get back to silver chart. So let's go to 15-minute uh, chart, see what's happening on a smaller time frame. Uh, I think I needed to show you guys A, B, and C first. So I believe that from the top right over here is A wave A this A and this hole is a flat correction and then we have another a wave as a wave X and then we have a zigzag wave as Y. 
so we have w x and y basically a double three structure in the correction and right now we have dodges so prices were right over here i think then when i made a forecast that we're expecting for the silver to go down and we have seen really push downwards and right now my forecast is telling me that we are expected to see side wave behavior in silver much like that we have seen in we we are going to see in gold as well so this is the first zigzag zigzag is complete right now we are going through a flat correction and then in the end we are also also see a flat correction so a zigzag flat followed by a flat correction and gives us a double three structure so i believe that we are going to continue this uh, seeing this sideways behavior until the rest of the december and um, then part of january as well we are expected to see this behavior I hope that I was able to provide some assistance in reading the market. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.